In this short video, I did want to share some principles of self-learning, um, mainly so that I can help you to understand the best way to go about what is really quite a complicated thing of working with yourself and teaching yourself using various different materials. So I've laid out uh, seven principles which I think might help you to sort of understand this process. And I believe that if you follow them, um, you will be uh, become, or perhaps you already are, a very good self-learner. So let's start with the first principle. And the first principle is before you enter into any process of learning, and this is true of self-learning and other types of learning, you always want to ask yourself the question, why am I learning this? Um, and the answer you should give to this should not be something like it's required in a course. Um, you need to work out and have for yourself a clear rationale for your aims of self-study. If you do have a rationale, if you do sit down and think about what is it I'm learning here? Why am I learning this? What am I going to use it for? Why is it important to me? If you really create a clear rationale, you have real reasons and values attached to your learning. What we know about this is that you are going to be much better at persisting in the learning process. One of the problems of self-learning is that people lose motivation, they get lost along the way. So working out why it is you're studying this topic I think is a good way to start. And I, I suggest actually that at this point you stop this video for a few minutes and write out your rationale for the self-study you are doing at the moment. The second principle of self-learning is really a, a principle of learning, like a lot of the things I'm going to say here. Learning is much easier if knowledge is structured. That's why we take courses with experts or we read a textbook. And there is a, a presentation of the knowledge which allows the gradual learning of the topic that you're involved with. Experts know how their field is structured. They know what's important. They know how the pieces are connected. Novices don't know these things. So when you have uh, a long and or elongated learning process, it's much easier when this is structured. Now, one of the mistakes people make when they're self-learning is they start, they start the learning process within a structured framework, and then they just say, well, you know, I can just jump ahead, or I know this stuff already, I can just go forward. Overall, I think this is a terrible mistake. If an expert has structured the material in the following way, in a very particular progression, you really should do it in that progression. Jumping around in structured information is really a terrible idea because you're going to miss out on crucial pieces which proceed. So my suggestion is do everything and do it in the order assigned. Don't jump forward artificially. Don't jump backwards artificially. Just follow through the process as it's laid out. That's why it's been structured in the way that it has been structured. The third principle, and I consider this to be a really crucial principle, that is consistency and pace. Learning takes time. I do not believe in what I'm going to call binge learning. You know that phenomenon where someone has a test on Thursday, they've got three months to prepare for the test, but on Wednesday night, the day before the test, they spend the whole day and the whole night cramming in everything that they need to know for that day. When you do that, you're not learning anything. You won't be able to remember anything. Just remember that learning takes a long time. My suggestion is that self-study self is best conducted when you do a little bit every single day. Consistency is far more important than cramming. So it's better to do short sections, let's say 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 15 minutes even, every single day, rather than trying to cram everything 
into one day. So I'm a great believer in consistency and working on something. If you're learning something, learn it every single day. Do small pieces and work forward. My fourth principle is a principle that should be well known to you. Organized and consistent note taking. You can only learn by writing, doing and note taking. Passive listening and watching does not provide long term integration of new knowledge. It simply does not. If you're sitting there and just listening, you're not learning anything. Or to be more exact, you learn something but it will last about 12 minutes after you finish watching. It is not going to be learned. It's not going to be integrated. In order to learn, you need to take notes. In order to self-learn, you need to take notes and you need to be very organized in your note taking. My suggestion is during and after every self-learning session, write, write out the important things you have learned and what you need to remember. I also suggest having a dedicated notebook or computer fold folder for your note taking. Clearly name and date the notes for each learning session. Simply put, memory is not good enough for learning. I know that sounds counterintuitive. If you base everything on what you remember, you're not going to learn very much. The fifth principle is repetition. Um, this is a well-known principle, but basically put, it's difficult to learn anything once. If you're only exposed to it once, if you only go over it once, um, you're not going to learn it very well. So if you're self-learning with video material or written material, some combination between the two, my suggestion would be go over everything more than once. See the videos twice, read the chapter of the article more than once. Repetition is a really important principle of learning. Remember, we understand more, remember more and see more when we go over materials more than once. My sixth application principle is application is learning. Now, education is not passive. It's an active process to know something. To actually know something means that you can apply it to novel situations. This is true for all types of knowledge and particularly true if you're learning a new skill and ability. When you're self studying, test yourself by thinking of new novel situations in which the learnt knowledge or skill can be applied. If you just use your knowledge, then you have some evidence that you have actually learned something. My last principle is a principle of assessment. Measure your progress. You started the self journey, uh, the self study journey with the articulation of an aim that you'd like to achieve. As you learn, think about whether you're moving towards your goal. Have you developed? How do you know that you have developed? Sometimes, if you're lucky, there are some formative assessment tools that can help you and allow you to measure your progress. Sometimes you need to create these yourself. As you study, no matter what you're self-studying, think about what evidence you have learned, what evidence you have of still what you don't know or don't understand, and then use this evaluation to reflect your learning process. I believe that if you follow these seven principles, you will be a very successful self-learner and I very much wish you success in your journey.